Good day, everyone. It's your girl, Precious Williams, and I am the proud founder and CEO of Perfect Pitches by Precious. And I'm so delighted. I know we never usually do a show on Sunday, but there's so many things that have happened this week that I definitely want to take time and talk to you about that. And it helps us as, you know, future pitch masters and as future speakers. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Keeping It Real with the Killer Pitch Master. As you all know, I am the Killer Pitch Pitchmaster Precious Williams. I am a 13-time National Elevator Pitch Champion. I am also an international professional speaker. I'm a fun gal about town. I love, love, love creating killer elevator pitches, media pitches, investor pitches, speaker pitches, and interview pitches. I have, am blessed to have the greatest clients in the world from the LinkedIn's, the Microsoft's, the Google's, the NBC Universal's, the Federal Reserve Bank's. I am in a great space. So as a speaker, I love to come on here, not just to talk about the art of pitching, but how to really set yourself apart as a speaker. Now, as some of you know, um, the title of this particular, the title of this particular show is on, you know, using truth and speak, hashtag speaker tales, using truth and authenticity to create opportunities. Now, I don't know about any of you all, but right now, so many speakers do not have access to being booked and busy as I am, as a lot of my clients are. Why is that? And one of the things that I just I sat back and thought about for the longest time is that we've all been sold the bill of goods about how peak speakers show up. Like they show up crisp, beautiful clothes, um, all the accolades behind them. They look good. They sound good. They talk a good game. And for a lot of us, we can't identify with that. It's not that we don't want to be in that space. It's just that Something about it doesn't ring true. I'm not saying that's for everybody because some people just like the glitz and glam of it all. But I want to say to all of you, if that doesn't resonate with you, it's because it doesn't resonate with me. Why? I am 41 years old. I've been on this earth long enough to know that not everybody is telling the truth about how they got started. Not everybody is telling the truth about, you know, how they really got into the game. And a lot of us would, would love to believe that they had an easy road to get to where they are. And I'm here to blow the roof off of all of that. If you are a person of color or you're a person, a person of color or a person who, who, you know, has no color, let me tell you something. Most of us had to struggle to get to where we, where we are. Most of us had to struggle. And I think it's very important that we talk about that, right? So let me let me let me let me see my people that are coming through. Y'all know I love to give y'all a shout out. Hey Renee, how are you? Good afternoon. Hey Alta V's, so happy to have you, girl. You you just the bomb.com. Ramon Padilla, good afternoon. So glad to have you here. And I don't know who this LinkedIn user is, but so, so true pressure. So let, let me let me drop some tea on y'all because y'all y'all may not know the truth. Y'all may not know the truth. So again, I've been a speaker for 25 years since I was 16 years old. And as a speaker who's been around since I was 16 years old, there have been many iterations in this speaking game. You're going to have your scammers and your crooks who are going to just show you beautiful things about how they live, which they really don't. And if they do, how many people would you really, if you really made all that kind of money, would you really want to put it on display like that? So you're appealing to the base, to a base element. For me as a speaker, once I went through homelessness, once I went through having to eat out of garbage cans, having people diss me, these fake me out gurus that people seem to throw up. Once I went through all of that and these people wouldn't take, would, wouldn't give me the time of day or just said that I was a bum and I'd never be on stages anymore. How do you think I feel now knowing that I have these great clients, that I am booked and busy by the best? Yes, as you all know, I've been on Shark Tank, CNN, Wall Street Journal. Forbes magazine. In fact, I wrote two number one bestsellers that was reviewed by Forbes magazine. How many people of color can say that? I didn't beg, borrow, and steal. I didn't pay anybody to get me in. You know how I did it, and let's get let's get real. So let me ask these questions first because I want to know who's in the room. Are you ready here? Are you really ready for the real, or do you want me to give you a fake story? Because I'm gonna give it to you raw. And if you're here for the real and the raw, I want you to type real in the comments right now. Type real in the comments right now. Hey, Billy. Great to have you. 
Hey, Lillian, great to have you. Hey, Tessie, how are you, love? Hey, Kelly, that's my girl, Kelly, ladies who leverage. Y'all need to be a part of that. That's a great women's networking, collabor sourcing, collaborating, partnering group where women actually work together to build all of us up. I'm gonna drop that tea, girl. You know I'm gonna drop that tea. Arian, so glad to have you. Hi, Rose, so glad to have you here, love. Elaine. Good afternoon. Glad to have you. Um, Y'all all coming in fast and furious now. Okay, hold on. LinkedIn, Detroit, Michigan, the real. Okay, I see y'all with the real. Real and raw. I see you. I see Brandy said. Brandy said, I want the real and the raw. Let me give it to you. Let me let me get drop it like it's hot on y'all. Okay, Dawn. Hey, Dawn. Dawn, your books, your, your books were sent out on Friday at 9 a.m. So you're getting the next week, okay? Um, hey, Alicia. Hey, Mashika. Okay, so y'all, now that I know y'all, 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 y'all here for the real. So let's talk about it, y'all. Let's talk about that real and raw. And I'm not asking y'all to do exactly what I do, but let's talk about sp hashtag speaker tales. Most of us who, you know, may have just started speaking know that you would love for the big gurus to pay you any attention. But if you don't have that constant bread, it's not going to work, right? Y'all know what I mean by bread. I mean, the coins that always be a part of the group and the this group and that group and whatever. And what we seem to forget is you have a story that is captivating. And the reason why you don't think it's captivating is because either you haven't made peace that you've had to get it out of the mud or you think because it isn't perfectly packaged that it doesn't matter. My girl Kelly will tell you something about me. I keep it a buck with y'all. Why? Because the higher up the food chain I go, there are going to always be people who want to blackmail or say things about me. So let me drop some tea on y'all real quick. First of all, I was a wildly successful New York City based attorney. I was disbarred when I was homeless. And you want to know why I was disbarred? They had no way of getting in contact with me. My own clients had no way of getting in contact with me because I was homeless and I was trying to figure out how to get how to get my life together. I was also a severe alcoholic. So you can't get in contact with someone who has no home. I lost my home. My I lost friends, family. I lost jewelry. I lost like I lost everything you can think of, y'all. I went from having a multi six figure company with Curvy Girls Lingerie and a successful speaking career to being negative in every way. I tried to take my life on, on January 22nd, 2017. I went into a program, a Christ-centered life transformation program, not a rehab. And do you know what I learned from this experience? When I used to speak before, I, had a, I have, a, I have a, a, a girlfriend of mine. And she said back in the day, she never truly understood me because I was such a robot. I was all about how everything looked and I had to be this and I had to be that and I had to be this and I had to be that. Now, of course, I want to look cute all the time, but I also think it's important that y'all know the real, that, that as a real speaker, I've gone through real things and I want y'all to feel me. Don't run from your stories that you think that the gurus aren't saying so it must not make your story valid. I'm telling you the truth. The minute I came out of the box on September 1st, 2018, and I moved into my pastor's home, I wanted to start my company again. Y'all probably like, why would you start a company if you have no money? I had a speaking career before, and I had learned so many things in my two years that I was away from speaking. And God told me to speak truth, to, to speak truth to power. What did that mean? Tell the truth about what he has done for me. Do y'all know in two short years, my first speaking engagement was at Bottomless Closet. Do you know who they introduced me to? Viacom. Because I was that good. Viacom led to this company and that company and that company. So trust me when I say, some of y'all may walk around and say, I don't want to speak to nonprofits. You don't know who their corporate donors are. You don't know if, if you do a really, really good job and specify, am I right, Kelly Charles Collins? Specify that you want to be introduced to certain people if you've done a good job. Y'all don't be just out here just trying to be hustling up on some stuff. If you know you're going to kick butt, ask to be introduced to some of their corporate um, partners. 
if they think you did a good job. And that puts the onus on you and them for you to shine and for them to introduce you. Do you hear me now? Don't let me be like a Marion. I've been moving differently. You know, can you hear me? I move differently as a speaker. My job is not to give y'all the same fluff and bull that y'all been given. I show you step by step how to build your speaking career. Because I had to do that in two years. And that's how I landed LinkedIn, Google, Microsoft, NBC Universal, Federal Reserve Bank. That's how I became a pitch judge at top competitions around the world. Why do you think they call me the killer pitch master? Because I slay all competition. When you learn to create your own niche, I'm not afraid to tell my story anymore. I'm not afraid to tell y'all I'm disbarred. And I'm not even looking to get back into speak into the to the legal profession. So for the person that thinks that, oh, I'm running from it, I'm not. I'm not. So I want y'all to put in the comments, what is something you've been running from telling, but you know, now that you know, people resonate with the truth more than they will a beautiful lie. Drop some things in the comments that you can speak about. Drop some things that you've been afraid to speak about because you think it makes you look bad. Drop it in the comments and I'm going to go and look at what y'all talking about. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let me just see. All right. Mashika. Hey girl. Okay, you want the real? You getting the real? Elaine, you getting it from Massachusetts? I'm I'm in Brooklyn. Okay, let me just make sure because I saw things coming through. Hey, Justin, great to have you here. Um, Billy McIntyre, the brothers are coming. Don't worry about it, Billy. The brothers will come, and they come sometimes later. Okay, Dawn, love you, girl. Valerie, listening from the car. Hello, seed mates. We help busy community eat fresh, healthy greens at home. I can't tell my story. No way. Okay. Okay. So let me, okay, hold on. I'm just going through all of this because I, I'm a true person that loves to, 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 to teach. Ramon says real and raw. Leroy. What's up, Leroy? Alicia. Yes. Imani says, why do people think nonprofit is synonymous with poor? I'm not sure Imani, because I, I don't, I don't really work with poor nonprofits. I really don't. I work with national nonprofits. So I don't work with, I, you know, unless it has to do with homelessness and women transforming their lives from the from getting it out of the mud to the bottom up, that's who I choose to work with. So I don't know why they consider it. Or some nonprofits will tell you that they can't pay you, but there are other ways to get speaking gigs out of one. Remember, I taught y'all that maybe three weeks ago, how to take one speaking engagement and turn it into four or more. Or two or more, or three or more, or four or more. Okay, so Kelly, tell them. You know, you know, I'm like Soldier Girl. Run, tell them. Okay, so alternative. Charlotte says alternative medicine in the Black community. We should know about these sort of things. We should know. Let me tell you something, Charlotte. I met a woman. I was speaking at an event, and do you, from Splint. And this woman, she's the CEO of Splendid Spoon, and they do nothing but organic, healthy foods, no meat vegan, everything. Do you know that this woman sent me a big package of food, like prepared food for me. Plus she sent me healthy shakes. And, and I mean, real, like real shakes, not the powdery stuff. She sent me real shakes. She sent me energy shots. She sent me all of that. So let me give a shout out to Splendid Spoon. I ate a curry carrot lentil soup. Y'all, I thought it was meat in it. It was that delicious. It was that delicious. Do you see what else can happen when you're really good? There are people who will reach out and, and let you test things. And I'm not just putting her out there because she didn't pay me. None of that. I'm just saying that gesture warmed my heart. When it showed up, I had no idea. Pastor brought it down. I had no idea what it was. I opened up nothing but delicious, healthy foods. Kelly, you know how it is, girl. Arian, been running from my shaky past and building a business while struggling. Arian, you know. That that's another thing I want to talk about when it comes to speaking and building your business. You're going to have some dark moments and you can keep watching the Mark Zuckerbergs, the Bill Gates, the Steve Jobs, the Sarah Bakeleys. You what you're really talking about is what people really go through who aren't the billionaires. We're billionaires in the making. We're multimillionaires in the making. Right. The more you tell people about what it really looks like, the more that they will feel comfortable with telling their truths. For example, Ty Goodwin always says this, until you step into your purpose, another woman or man can't step into theirs. When you're a trailblazer like us, you're going to get the cuts, the bumps, and the bruises. You're going to fall on your face. People are going to dish you openly and in private. 
But you know what changes it? When you successfully revel in whatever you have done. I don't let nobody tell me I'm not good enough. Nobody. I'm a multimillionaire in the making and I'm getting closer and closer every day. I already have a six-figure business going into the second six figures. Don't worry about me. But what I tell you is the truth about it. So why don't you get out there and tell, that's why I talk about hashtag speaker tales. When you use truth and honesty, Instead of the fakery and the fugazi glitz and glamour of it all. Glitz and glamour is not going to get you there. I don't care what you, what anybody tells you. Looking good is great. Being able to talk and speak about your truth and how you rose is an even better story. In fact, pastor, there was a, a pastor at Trinity Baptist today. He talked about Philippians. And one of the things, Philippians is my favorite book in the Bible. I know some of y'all may not be Christians, but it's my favorite book in the Bible. And I love how in the letter he says, I, I know what it's like to have a lot. And I, like, I know what it's like to have nothing. But in everything, you know, he, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. No one ever said that this was going to be the easiest journey. That's why you went into it because you wanted a challenge. But at the end of the day, I implore each and every one of you to tell the truth about some of the things you're going through. And I don't mean to your corporate partners or the people who are going to hire you. Maybe you tell certain carefully curated true stories. But for your audience who may be buying your digital products, for the people who may just be lay people who need to see the real, bring it to them. Because they're going to start introducing you to other people too. Remember, everything is strategy. Am I right, Kelly Charles? Everything is strategy. Thank you, Arian. I would love to be involved with nonprofits. My background history. Yes, Candace. Um, Mashika, being in toxic working environment, even as a doctor. Trust me, girl. I'm a former attorney. I've been through all that. Okay. Okay. Hating working in media agencies, being one of maybe five people of color. That is a very dark place to be. But just like everything else, you're making it happen. Being able to tell the truth to others so that they don't think that it's just them. I think one of the things we forget about is we think that we're the only ones going through it and we're not. The minute you get permission to be truthful, you'll give other people permission too. I promise you, I want, I want change and I'm older. Leah, I don't know what that means. You looking hella nice in your picture. I won't change and I'm old. I'm 41 years old. I, let, let me Let me let y'all see me. I'm 41. Now, normally, I guess the light is making me look weird. But anyway, y'all know how I look. I'm cute when I want to be. But I also want y'all to see the real me. I could get on here with the best makeup and everything like that. But sometimes I think if you're going to talk about truth and honesty, give it to them real and honest. I'm one of the best in the world, if not the best pitch master in the world. And if I can't be honest with y'all, if I can't get y'all that true tea, why am I here? Doretha, so glad to have you, queen. Brandy, I was on probation for drug trafficking. Babe, babe, let me tell you something, Brandy. My cousin, who I love, Le James, my cousin was a pimp, a drug dealer who moved weight. He got caught and did 120 days. Do you know from that day forward, he never touched drugs. He never did pimping. And look at him today. Look at him today. My cousin is all that in a bag of chips. That was his wake up call because those old times told him, you don't want 25 to life. You don't want to be in here with us. And do you know what? That was what he needed to hear. He needed to hear the truth of it. Not the rapper. Oh, you know, I did. I, you know, I moved that way. I didn't do it. No, no, no. He walked out. Thank you, Brandy. Thank you. It, 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 it's what I'm saying resonating with y'all. It's what I'm saying resonate. Put yes in the comments. Resonate with truth versus listen to a beautiful lie. Well said. Yes, Justin. Elaine, negative banking history and don't know how to fix it. Elaine, trust. When I take Kelly, do you know I owed the IRS $66,000 and paid it off this year? I bet you didn't know that. That's how hard I worked. And I'm not saying it was easy. I ain't going to tell you that the times I just sat there like every dollar I'm making is going back. But do you know what's also what I also appreciate about it is that I have 
a great CPA. I have a great bookkeeper. Her name is Renee Wengrofsky. When I tell you she got all my stuff together, she got it all together. I was afraid to let someone else see how bad I had mismanaged money or when I was homeless and I had nothing and all those bills kept piling up. I can't tell you what a freedom it was. that She looked at me as a friend and as her client and said, I got you. And now I'm in such a better position. Do you know 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019 taxes are paid? The only thing I owe on is $2015, $51,000. Now, you might be saying, why would you even put that out there? I'm putting it out there because I want y'all to know that ain't nothing. I, I, I'm going to pay that off. I'm going to pay that off, if not by the end of this year, by the first quarter of next year. Trust you, I know I still got to live and everything like that. But think about that. That's how hard I grind. People wonder why they see me all the time. It's because I know that the more visible I am, the more truthful I am, the more authentic I am that they know that I, I I don't just do this for fun. It is fun to me. Don't give up, Elaine. Find you someone who can help you get it together. Tell the truth. Don't listen. No lies. Put it all out there. Okay? Love you, queen. Hello. Area. There are some nonprofits that have a scarcity mindset. Yes, there are a lot of nonprofits that have a scarcity mindset. I don't really work with them usually. And, and, and I also think it's because when you know you're valuable, it, it's like what my girl Kelly Charles Collins says. It's one thing to know your worth. It's another thing to charge your worth. And it's another thing to be able to stand in your worth when they say you're not worth it or they can't pay you. I'm, I've learned the beautiful art of walking away. I've learned a beautiful art. Unless there's something keeping me there, I've learned the beautiful art of walking away. Because I know that some other people who may not look like me are going to get that 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 payment. And I tr choose to see myself as the greatest. And the greatest doesn't work for peanuts. And that scarcity mindset out of a nonprofit also trickles down to the people that they're helping. Trust. Kid, this is my past background story. Give it up, girl. Give it up. It lay, whoa. Candace, I have a criminal history years ago. It's okay. It's okay because you know how you should. My boy, David, who is David Hawkins, who is a, a, a he's an attorney. He quoted me one day. He said, you know what the name of you, your story is from despair to destiny. I was abused and beaten up as a child, almost murdered by my mama on November 18th, 1991. I never understood why I was born was angry, bitter, but my grandparents at 15 years old transformed me. And the reason why I'm so loving and kind now is because my grandmother, precious Dolores Williams, loved me to life, not to death. She loved me to life. She used to put out there, I wish somebody would talk about my baby, my golden child, precious Williams, my queen bee. Do you know what pride that filled me with? I'm loved that my grandma going to go, go hard in the paint for me. And she did. Trust me. Do that. Yes, Arian. Okay. The billionaires struggle too. Yes, they did. The billionaires did struggle. But I'm gonna tell you, sometimes it's a sometimes it's a it's a different struggle. But like I said, I didn't grow up with a garage to tinker with with um tech and electronics because I don't have that kind of brain. What I did is I started speaking at 16 years old. And that's been my call to um that's been my call. I'm not disparaging billionaires or multimillionaires at all. Don't get it twisted. What I am saying. It's that sometimes we can look at their stories and because our stories didn't start off like that is that we think we're not as valuable and we are. LinkedIn user. It was a ride. Maybe I consider it. Thank you for your courage. But I was homeless and living in a car with kids 15 years ago. And today we serve as Martha Stewart, but I'm missing something. And my daughter tells me it's my story and why I listen today. P.S. If, if time to read, I patented the first in the world accurately spaced seed sheets to be able to space vegetable sheets in a sheet side by side manufacturing it next to Germany seed tape. They are my Santa home of the micro green. Okay, thank you. I care in learning difficulties as it relates to children's visions. That's so beautiful. And 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 mind you, y'all, I know I go through these, but I I personally, you know, because I I know I'm I know I'm a talk show host. I want to see what my guests are saying. I love you all. You are sweet. I'm older than you. Y'all you know, look at chick. <laughs> Asha, 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 Aliyah. Yes, girl, speak that truth. Summer McAfee, snap, snaps. We need more true tea. Girl, true tea is what we do in these streets. Link that you are speaking to me. I can't listen right now. Please send link to, N darling, it's going to show up on my LinkedIn feed. So you can come back and look under Precious Whips and it'll be there, darling. Asha, like, yes. LinkedIn user, love this. 
Um, Candace Talby, yes. Remember your message, your message. Ramon, um, thanks for your truthfulness. Leah, yes. Lydia Neely, one of my clients, tell your story. Others needed to overcome. Yes. Brandy, yes, it is. Brandy, oh, wow. Um, Ramon, yes, it resonates for sure. Jeanette Polk, thanks for your transparency. I want to. Elaine, thank you. Latrice, thank you. Girl, girl, what's up, Latrice? Um, LinkedIn, that was a mouthful. Uh, Latrice, yes. And now I'm going to leave y'all with something. The art of walking away. Trust me, y'all. When you can walk away from a deal, Kelly, drop that tea on them. Um, I would love to meet you in person one day, Precious. I know COVID has put most live seminars on hold, but are you planning to be on the road soon? Yes, I plan on, Ramon, I plan on being on the road next year. For right now, I'm doing a lot of the virtual um, virtual speaking engagements. And since it still pays and it's quite lucrative, I still do that. Um, you know, if you happen to be in New York, it's not that we can't meet. We just have to meet and be, you know, physically, socially distant, but still can break bread together because I've, I've done that too, Okay. Algernon Collier. Hey, love it. Charlotte, I'm so glad we invited you to speak at our summit. Thank you so much, darling. And I'm so proud. I'm older than you too. Elaine, so what? You still cute. This is my mentor, y'all. Okay. Thank you, inspiration. I never had no one to take me out of it. I was signed off to an older man and followed that destruction for years. Lost so many friends and a dad and a brother to overdose. I just wish I had that guidance. I will definitely turn notifications on when you post. Thank you so much. Okay, y'all. So let's let's get it popping. Let's get it popping. So does anybody have any questions? Because I'm about to tell a story that some of y'all already know, but I definitely want you all to truly understand. This is my website. If you want to go on my website and see the type of things that I speak on, how I can be helpful to your business, your career, your life. Remember, I am the killer pitch master. I'm a master of the elevator pitch, the media pitch, the investor pitch. I'm a master of um, the speaker pitch and the interview pitch. Not only that, I do killer web copy and I can help you as a speaker, become hashtag booked and busy. So that is my website. I'd love for you to definitely check it out and to go to it. That would be great. Also, if you have if you have never heard of my books, Bad Bitches and Power Pitches for Women Entrepreneurs and Speakers Only, here is a link that you can actually get that. You know, get the book, uh, Bad Bitches and Power Pitches for Women Entrepreneurs and Speakers Only. Um, and I definitely want you all to know that it's a number one bestseller. It has been featured, it was reviewed by Forbes magazine and everything like that. So I definitely want you all to definitely know that. Okay. Uh, so those are the two, two things I want you to pay attention to. Here's my website and it'll show again at the very end. Okay. If you, uh, want, uh, the link, I can make sure that I put it under your posting so that you can get the link and the link for my website and the link for my book. Finally, I want to address an issue that made me talk about hashtag speaker tales when truth and authenticity create opportunities. For some of you all, you, you may not know, you may not know that recently I was a silver medalist in a global women's business competition. The Stevie Awards is an award given to great women owned businesses in you know, around the world. And I am a speaker at the women conference that's going to be in November. And I got a free entry into the Stevie Awards, right? So when you think of free, you're thinking you're never going to win anyway because you didn't pay to the, the two, three, four hundred dollar fee. Okay, great. And so I put myself up for Maverick of the Year. Number one, you better be nominating yourselves, right? Nominate yourself for speaking engagements. Not only nominate yourself for speaking engagements, nominate yourself for awards. You may be sitting up here thinking, oh, I haven't made a million dollars, so they're not going to look at me. No, everybody starts somewhere. Like Algernon said, everybody starts somewhere, even billionaires, even multimillionaires, even six-figure companies, even five-figure companies. They all started somewhere. Nominate yourself. Don't be out here. You can, you can, you can nominate nominate everybody else, but don't forget to nominate yourself because this is a, this is a true T true story. So I nominated myself for Maverick of the year, which is an award given to someone who's turned around a business or turned around something in their business. And now they're well known for, for doing it their way. Like old blue eyes glistening, like, um, uh, God, I'm forgetting his name, Frank Sinatra. You did it your way and proved that you're a maverick in a sea of average. So I, um, applied for the Maverick of the Year for 2020. 
And about three weeks ago, I got an email from a judge who had told the other judges that she thinks that I'm disbarred. So they wanted to know, is it true? Because in my mind, they wanted to just get rid of me. I was disbarred in 2017. It's 2020. So I went to my two business coaches, Ty Goodwin, and I went to Danielle Fitzpatrick Clark. And Danielle told me not to give up. She told me if they reached out to you, there's something about you that they love. You better go and tell them who you used to be, how you overcame everything, and why that makes you the perfect candidate for Maverick of the Year. Do y'all know I put together my supplementary statement? And I sent it off thinking they, they don't care about me. I know my coach is just talking a good game. On Thursday morning, and I'm sorry, I'm about to get, I'm about to cry. On Thursday morning, I got an email from the Stevie Awards. And it said, congratulations. I took the silver medal for Maverick of the Year. Not only did I take the silver medal, I saw what the judges wrote. And they wanted me for Maverick of the Year, the gold place. And do you know why I didn't win gold? Because one of the judges said I lost three points for not answering every question. I don't care about none of that. Do y'all want to know who won gold? DHL in Saudi Arabia. Do y'all want to know who took bronze? Amazon Web Services out of a particular division in different country. What does that tell you? DHL is a multi-billion dollar company. Amazon Web Search is a multi-billion dollar company. I'm in the six figures. And I came within three points of time for gold. Y'all, can you hear me though? Like Amari said, I've been moving differently. I know you can see it. Can you hear me? Okay, so let me just see what y'all saying. Do y'all see why truth and honesty got me the opportunity to be get the silver medal? Do y'all know it's going to be a big virtual ceremony where I get to speak and everything? Do y'all know they had thousands of applications and I beat them all to be silver? Don't play with me, y'all. Don't play. So you can sit around here and believe these gurus or you can sit around and do what you need to do. Take out the gliss and glamour. You can be glissy and glamorous when you step on that stage, but have substance behind what you say. Don't just be saying the same regurgitated BS that they've been hearing for years. Challenge yourself to step into your greatness. Give it to them real and raw and watch how they fall at your feet. Will I be writing a book for teenage girls? I actually will be, but my third book is called The Bad Bitches Playbook. So think about it like this. You ever seen a football huddle with the, the coach and they, it, you know, so when they're practicing, they, they had a playbook. So I'm going to show you in my third book how, pay attention, y'all, I'm going to show you what happens after the pitch. I'm going to show you how to get referrals and affiliates and everything to do your bidding. I'm going to show you how to get people to say your name in rooms that you'll never enter. I'm going to show you how to make your network work for you. Trust me, I have 25 years in this game as a speaker and nine years as a killer pitch master. So y'all want the bad bitches playbook? Type yes in the comments because it's coming. April 2021. Trust and believe. 60% done now, okay? <laughs> Latrice, I bought your books and love them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Looking to develop my speakers bureau for project manager. Sure can use your support, Elaine Jackson. I love that, Elaine. Arian, I give God all the praise for the connection. She is amazing. Thank you so much, Latrice. Okay, and so my website is www.perfectpitchesbypressure.com. That's why I am a proud investor and a member of Ladies Who Leverage. Kelly is so dope. Y'all don't know. This is the unconscious bias expert. She's written books on um, on um, the bystander effect. She is sincerely paid good money to talk about DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, especially from her unique standpoint that is truly making a difference for Fortune 500 companies. Y'all need to check her out. Y'all need to see why I hang with only the best. Latrice, you all nominate yourself. Yes. 
Some make makeup awards and build hype around it for themselves. Yeah, I don't make up awards. I apply for the real big ones. Yeah, you might be saying, precious. Why? Because I want real recognition, not that fake stuff. I don't want fake BS. Congratulations. That is awesome. Thank you, Lillian. And then congratulations. That's amazing. So because we're, you know, I just want to make sure I address everybody's comments. Candace, congratulations. Thank you. Latrice, yes. Leah said, yes, better do it. Elaine, congrats. Whoa, you deserve it. Um, Latrice says, my God, trust me, I plays no games in these streets. Let's see. I want to make sure I address everybody's. And I know we usually go for about 30 minutes, but we're going to go a little bit over today because I want to make sure I address it. Hurricane Dave. I love that. Thank you. Gladys, give them authenticity. Drop it like it's hot, Gladys. Leah, that's right. Lillian says, yes. Kelly says, Kelly Charles Collins. Kelly, make sure you drop your Ladies Who Leverage in the comments just so they can come and see what we do at Ladies Who Leverage and how we just had a great mastermind yesterday with over 25 women and we went hard for three and a half hours. Was. It was it was so electrifying, y'all. Y'all y'all missed it. So she's gonna. We're probably gonna do that. I'm sorry, Kelly. Let me not steal your shine, but you're probably gonna do that once a quarter. And then we have the spotlights where women who are gifted in a particular lane or their zone of genius teach us too. So y'all need to get at this. Y'all need to get at this because it's a great recognition, and it's also women who truly care about supporting other women, not that fake meow. Oh, I'm just a part of it. It's just so great. No, no, no. Kelly be showing up for me. Show up. She showed up for me. She's come to events that I have. You know, I'm always going to go hard for Kelly. Candace, yes. You have to support those who support you. That's why um, Latrice, I love Latrice. We're part of the Matthews Broadcast together. And that's another networking organization that helps, you know, Black-owned businesses really get out there in a major way. Right. And so Latrice, we meet, you know, we usually meet on Mondays and sometimes I'm speaking on Mondays, but I'm, I'm just giving you out a tea. Latrice, drop that, drop, drop, drop that love on, on um, the Matthews broadcast so people can know about it. OK, Elaine, I want the book. Uh, Elaine, um, I will I will make sure that you see that link again. And also um, under your comment, I'll put the link. OK, Leah. Yes. Jeanette. Yes. May God bless you and protect your business goals. Yes, queen. Um. Kelly said, I just love you. Thank you. You inspire me every day, just like you do, Kelly. Um, LinkedIn, you. Congratulations, Christine. Ladies who leverage. You got it right. You better go, girl. LinkedIn, authenticity will always win out, Christine. Tina. Tina is my great client. Y'all want to know somebody having great clients? Tina. Tina sent me a gift, that, a tea set that has queen of everything. Oh, y'all think that's all she sent me? Then she sent me these flowers that last for a full year in pink and gold. Then when my cousin died, she sent me a gift package that was full of perfumes and just the th self-care things. This is what happens when you show up real and authentic because people can recognize it and they want to support you. When you're going through dark times, you know how many of my clients will show up and just be like, what you need, coach, what you need? If I came to them and said, I, I, I'm going dead broke, please believe my clients would got me. I know y'all thinking I'm making it up. I'm not. I promise y'all, I don't make it up. I don't have to because I'm real and I'm raw and I hold their hands through the process. So let's talk about it again, y'all. Yes, ma'am. Let's talk about it again. I think it's very important that what we do is have real conversations with each other. When you come to the Keeping It Real with the Killer Pitchmaster show, the reason why I go hard is because I want y'all to be told the truth about things. I want y'all to know what it really takes to be a speaker, an entrepreneur, and pitching yourself. We do this on the daily. And I come here every week to show y'all what's possible. So what did you, what do you take away from hashtag speaker tales? Using truth and authenticity to create opportunities. When you're pitching yourself to conference organizers and event planners, drop a little tea about the story that you can give to the audience that lets them know you weren't always here. You may have been here. And the distance between here and there is where you want to meet these people. This past next week, I mean, this upcoming week, I'm literally being I'm being an MC at the BlackConnect.org's pitch competition that is that is uh, proudly sponsored by Silicon Valley Bank. So people will be walking away with money and investments. I'm also uh, hosting a pitch competition and I'm also um, being welcome to the table, which is, uh, you know, people of color and really bonding together as entrepreneurs and speakers. And you're going to hear our true story of how we got there. I'm the pitch master. So I'm going to bring it from a pitching perspective. 
So, Charlotte, please uh, drop that in the comments so that they know that uh, how to sign up. It's free. The 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 welcome to the welcome to the table people of color. The actual thing that we'll be speaking on this Saturday. Okay, please put that in the comments. I want people to know what we're doing. So I'm stay booked and busy. And when you have someone like a like a Kelly or a Latrice or a Tina Williams or any of the people that show up, you know people are showing up with questions because the big gurus aren't answering those questions. Am I right, y'all? Am I right? So I definitely want y'all to know that's my web, that's my email address. If you have any questions that you think weren't addressed, or if you want to reach out to me, um, I do respond. Um, I also have my website. You can check me out and see how I can be of assistance to you. You know, I love that. And also here's the link to get my book. Okay, make sure. Latrice, yes, ma'am. Sam Manning, excellent, my sister. Are there any questions before you know we we leave today? Did, did I tell? Did I? Did I? Did I? Did I answer any of the things that you've been struggling with in your mind? I want you all to tell me. Did you learn something today? I want to see yes in the comments if you learned something today. Um, I want to see yes. If you'd like to purchase my books, type book in the comments. And I'll make sure you get the link. So did you learn something today? If you want to tell me what you learned, put it in the comments. The more people see a woman of color, a black woman who, who can hold court for 40 minutes with people. This is why LinkedIn works with me. This is why I'm a LinkedIn content creator. This is why they sought me out to have my own show. This is why I'm going to be doing those videos. This is why I have my news articles that go out to the full of LinkedIn, not just my network. Do you know why that is? Because I'm truthful and I'm honest. So think about that, y'all. Have you learned anything today? If so, what did you learn? And then also, if you want my book, please type book in the comments and I'll make sure you get the link. Okay. Let me see what else I see. Hey, Liz. Liz is one of my clients through Rising Tide Capital. So good to see you, Queen. Oh, Liz. Um, Hold on. Hold on. There's so many coming in at once. Hold on. Liz, type in the information about the new group that you have. That's about like retreating and getting back to self-care and health. Put that in the comments, Liz. Brandy, are pitch competitions only for startups? No. There are pitch competitions for growing companies too, Brandy. Definitely. Latrice, so do you apply for speaking gigs? Sometimes I do, but a lot of them are given to me. And here's another thing that Kelly and I know very well. The more you ask now, the less you have to later. Because you, when you create your own lane, they come to you. They come to you. I'm speaking at an event in two weeks with Damon John, the Event Planners Summit that's usually in New York at the Jacob Javits Center. I'm a main stage speaker. They wanted to have me with a fireside chat with him but now I'm main stage. So that means I get to speak. So they came to me after watching something of mine on LinkedIn. So trust and believe y'all don't sleep on LinkedIn. If y'all about that business, y'all about that coin, y'all about making an impact, don't sleep on LinkedIn. Facebook is great. At least for me, I found Facebook to be great to connect, but LinkedIn is where I, deals are actually made for me. Okay. So yes, you apply for speaking gigs and you can also, one of the things I teach my clients is how to, Apply for speaking gigs that haven't been announced yet. How to make your, get yourself at the top before it's even announced. LinkedIn, yes. Okay, hold on. LinkedIn user book. I'll make sure you get that. But I think you have to, since it says LinkedIn user, I'm not sure if that tells me how to get that to you. So if you take a picture of what's scrolling at the bottom, that's the link you can get the book. When it says LinkedIn user, I'm not sure if I know how to get that to you. Um, Leah Moody book. Just Leah, just look at this click funnels right here. And again, at the end of when this goes lot, when this goes actually into recording mode, I'll make sure that I address each and every one who, who said book and give you the link to. Okay. And also you can also go to my website. And if you go to www.perfectpitchesbyprecious.com, if you go to my work with me page, my book is available for purchase on my site too. So if that makes it easier, go to www.perfectpitchesbyprecious.com, scroll and see the work with me page and you can buy the books there too. Okay. That'll make it easier for y'all. Candice, thank you. Book number three, can't, uh, Latrice, is, listen, it's not going to go for pre-sales probably until like Jan, February, but I just want to know that there's interest in that, okay? And then Janetta, 
hope. What's it? Okay, so thank you all so very much. Let me go back to my banner. And then if you go to if you go to this perfect pictures by precious.com, you can find my books there. Again, I know you can get it on Amazon. I know you can get it on Walmart.com, Target.com, Barnes and Nobles. But if you want a hand signed copy from me that I mail, that I hand sign, put a little note in there for you that's meant specifically for you and for anyone else, anybody else you buy books for, I do that. And so you get me personally putting my energy and my love into it, okay? And hand signing it. You get it from Barnes and Nobles, Amazon, Target, and all of them, you just get the book. There's nothing in me handwritten in there. So if you want handwritten um, copies of my book, I will make sure that if you purchase from my website, you get that, okay? So I'm going to go back to, um, let's see. I'm going to go back to making sure I have everybody. And then I'm going to let you all go. Okay. Liz, I love you too, darling. Book, please, Candace. Uh, just look at the website, www.perfectpitchesbyprecious.com. Go to the work with me page and you'll see the book at the bottom. Book, Lillian. Yes. And I'll make sure y'all get the link. Okay. No worries about that. Okay. Latrice, I learned I don't have to wait for anybody. No, girl. No, you don't. Got it. Ask more now, less later. Trust me, queen. Trust me. So um, my my client, Liz Santiago, y'all can go to this link and it's about a spa retreat, whether it's virtual or in person. Liz, give them a little bit more flavor for what they what they'll actually get at the at the spiritual spa retreat. OK. All right, Liz. And then I would not sleep on LinkedIn. Yes, gigs before they announce. Don't sleep on LinkedIn, y'all. Don't sleep. Because I tell Kelly, I tell you, she'll drop it like it's hot on you. Leah Moody, thank you. Okay. Liz Santiago, thanks for the tip. Kelly, www.perfectpitchesbypressures.com. See how she always got me? Um, Tina, I want socks and books. Please support, support, support. So, Tina, Tina, you already have my books, right? If you don't, girl, you know, you already know. And also, just so y'all know, speaker swag has changed. Y'all know when, when you were a speaker, they'll give you the swag bags and stuff. Let me show y'all what a, a company did for me. I'll put it. Oh, let me show y'all. So, y'all know, y'all know that I was a speaker at the Ascent Conference. They sent me, hold on, I'm going to turn this off so y'all can see this. They sent me socks with my face on it. My face. I don't know if you can see it. It's the Ascent Conference. That's me. That's me. An Intuit QuickBooks, another one of my clients. Do you know they sent me a portrait, an animated portrait of my headshot, my old headshot? So don't sleep on speaking gigs because you think you're just going to get some raggedy swag. Oh, no. Those socks are swag, swag. Dripping in swag, go y'all. Swag, go swag, go. So, yes, and then Liz said, I love my books. Uh, Latrice says, I love you so much. Thanks for your wisdom, transparency, and encouragement. Yes, but they are not signed. See, teen, I told you, you got to get it from me, girl. You be playing with me. Speaker swag has changed. Yes, speaker swag. No, no, I'm saying the bigger companies are not just giving you like a cup and a, you know, some cute little stuff, they're actually doing things to stay memorable with you so that you come back again. So when I get Swicker Spag, of course I get great stuff, but still they're, they're doing stuff that's more creative. So one of the things that you all can do as speakers is how creative can you be? Well, y'all know I, my titles are creative. Pitch, please. You know, and people think I'm saying something else, but I'm really saying pitch, please. The art, of, the art of the killer pitch. Think about how you can get creative with the titles. Think about that, right? Dripping in swag go. You heard me? You heard me? And Elaine says, yes, yes, learned all situations can be fixed. So I thank you all so much. If there are no more questions, if there are no more comments, I have had you almost 50 minutes. I want to thank you all so much. And if you know of other people that should listen to this particular LinkedIn Live, Keeping It Real with the Killer Pitchmaster, type their names, comment with their names so that they can watch this too and see how different I am from everyone else. If you really want that true tea and not that BS, if you want more than glitz and glam, <clears throat> if you want somebody to give it to you real and raw, tell them to come to the Keeping It Real with the Killer Pitchmaster show, okay? And so <clears throat> I really appreciate y'all for showing up for me today. I know it's a Sunday and I really have everybody in their mama here. And I thank you all so very much for showing me love, for showing me attention. You all are wonderful. You all are wonderful. Um, Elaine, I have 17, almost 18,000 contacts on LinkedIn. So you you know you can do something with that with that email list or with that list. You really can. I truly love you all. I want you to know that you can reach out to me at www. 
I'm, I'm sorry, at Precious at PerfectPitchesByPrecious.com. But if you want to work with me, go to my website, www.PerfectPitchesByPrecious.com. Check out my website, go to the work with me page and see the many ways that I can work with you. I have digital products. I have, uh, I have books and I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you are looking for that, I suggest you go to the website and book me. You will not be, you will not be disappointed. Trust me. I have clients that have appeared on Shark Tank, seeing and walk like the stuff I've done. My clients have done that too. They're booked and busy. In fact, I have a client, Dr. Natasha Anderson. When she came to me, she never had a coach before. Now she's booked and busy globally, virtually paid. What? Then you have my client, Mariama Boney. She's getting speaking gigs out of California and she doesn't live in California. And they're asking her to be a consultant for, uh, for different companies that are in Cali. How do I do that? I understand speaking on another level. With 25 years in the game, I've seen every iteration in speaking. And I want you to know that there's some tried and true and tested techniques. And there are also ways that you want to stand out and create your own lane. I love, love, love you all for everything that you guys have given me today. Please like, comment, and share this video. Please comment uh, in the comments if you want other people in your group to look at this. It only makes me as a Black woman really stand out more on LinkedIn. It shows LinkedIn that they didn't make a mistake by making me a LinkedIn content creator. This is the Keeping It Real with the Killer Pitchmaster show. I show up weekly to give you tips, tricks, and techniques for creating your own lane, for becoming booked and busy at, and paid as a speaker, for taking your pitching to the next level, for getting you investor dollars, and for also, if you're going into interviewing, to actually get the job because you've put in the practice and the preparation and the diligence to get where you need to go. To all of my clients who show up for me on a daily basis, I appreciate that because I don't show up for everybody. To all the people who've never heard me before, I hope you've learned something that you never heard before, or maybe it touches you in a different place. But please keep coming back to the Keeping It Real with the Killer Pitchmaster. I am your proud host, Precious L. Williams, and I am a 13-time National Elevator Pitch Champion and the 2020 Silver Medalist for the Maverick of the Year Awards. That's going to be happening December 9th, and I'll make sure you all have the details. You can come for free on me. All right? Take care, everybody. Let me just make sure I address everybody. It's because we truly love you already. Thank you, Latrice. You know I'm about to work with you. Girl, you know I already know. Love to take you out for dinner and just spend time talking. Elaine, I'm in New York. So if you're in New York and you're in the city, we can make that happen because you know your girl ain't going to turn down on meal. Have a great day, everyone. Love you all. Take care. And don't forget... Um, if you want my book, type book in the books in the comments. If you learn something, please type it in the comments so other people can know that you guys aren't bots. You're real people. Love you all. Take care. Bye.